Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for today's video. Sorry, Thor's in the way. You just know how it is if you have cats or pets, I guess, or children, you know. Anyway, so um, today we are doing, come on, keep it moving, mister. We are doing a uh, foundation and concealer and setting spray declutter. So, oh my goodness, get out of the way. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to see my collection and me go through stuff and get rid of stuff that is expired, stuff I just don't use anymore, um, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, bookmark the page, you gotta move your big spider face out of the way. Then yeah, make sure you do all that so you don't miss out on the daily uploads. Okay, so as you can see, I have a very large collection. Right here is concealers, um, foundation, setting sprays. So let's do concealers first. Um, okay, I'm just gonna, this one does not look too appetizing anymore. So um, yeah, just gonna make a pile of stuff to get rid of over here and we'll do that. But See, I got a brand new e.l.f. camo concealer. I don't need to keep stuff. I love the um, Essence Camouflage Plus Matte Concealer, but it's probably expired, and I don't need to keep expired product, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of it. Gotta move out of the way. Keep moving. Keep it moving. Thank you. I wasn't super impressed with the Maybelline Super Stay Fold Coverage Concealer. Um, yeah, I wasn't too impressed with it, so we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. The Master Conceal is probably expired, so I'm going to get rid of that as well. Doesn't look separated. This is a good concealer. The NYX got you covered. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. It's not that good. It's from... Uh, what is this called? It's the, I can't remember what brand this is, collab, but we'll get rid of that. Okay, so a little bit better. I mean, we're getting rid of, I'm on two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve concealers, which I know is a lot. Nobody should own twelve concealers to begin with, but yeah. A little bit better. Um, setting spray wise, I think I'm good. I don't think I'm going to get rid of any setting sprays. Foundations. Foundations is going to be what's hard for me. So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna get rid of this. I got this last year. Um, I don't think it's actually expired yet, but it broke me out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I liked it. It was pretty, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Same thing with the Wet n Wild Coverall. These are good foundations, but they're a little heavy. They have really good coverage, but I just, I have so much I don't, really, really don't need. Have a ton. 
Um, same with the 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie. Uh, it's a good foundation, but I don't need sample sizes, so get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of the Revlon 24-hour. Um, I don't even see an expiration, but it's looking a little... But you can see I did use quite a bit of it. So it's a good, good one, but I don't need to keep it. So... I'm going to get rid of the Dream Matte Mousse. Um, I did like this. It's the shades off and I don't need to buy any more foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that on, aka put it in the garbage. Um, let's see. Just looking for expiration dates here. know if this is the right shade for me. Oh, it's separated, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of the Rimmel Stay Matte. Good foundation, but I just time to go ahead and... I bought these to do a review on, and I never did. These are okay, but um, I'm going to go ahead and pass these up. And they're over 12 months old, so we'll go ahead and get rid of those. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I think it's like almost empty. This is the original um, Maybelline Superstay Foundation. But yeah, I'm just going to get rid of it. But I bought the new one in the same shade, the nude beige, and it's totally, totally a different color. So um, but yeah, I'm going to go in and get rid of that. Um, 3 of 21, 12 of 2020. So I'm guessing I'm getting rid of these. When did this expire? If you do keep foundation like way past, it can break you out, it can harbor bacteria. So just be aware of that. I think this one's still good. Here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the CG Smoothers. Um, it's too light of coverage for me, and it's a little bit too moisturizing, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I found a way to make the Physician's Formula work. Um, I have to powder my face a little bit beforehand, um, and then apply this and not use a ton, but it's, it's okay. Um, I'll, I do want to like try to use it unless it's expired, then I'll go ahead and, and toss it. But... Okay, I'm not seeing a, but I'm going to keep this for at least for a little bit. I really liked the ColourPop Pretty Fresh or the No Filter, sorry, the No Filter Foundation. I really like this, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. The Peach Perfect is really nice as well. I'm going to keep that. The visible lift is nice, lighter coverage, so we'll go in and keep that for when it's a little bit of a more easy going kind of day. Like the e.l.f. Um, acne fighting foundation as well. The Catrice is one of my favorites. It's really, really nice. 
I was honestly surprised with the um, Physician's Formula Super BB. Really, really good as well. So, this is old as heck. I got this in a boxy charm box ages and ages ago. I know it's a primer, but it's there. We're gonna go in and get rid of it. Um, I'm gonna keep the Morphe because it's good coverage. Um, what shade is this? Classic Ivory. I need to give this another go. I don't remember how this was. So yeah, I need to give this another go. Um, I like the Pretty Natural from Essence and I like the Tinted Hydrator from Wet n Wild. So we'll keep that. And we'll try to, we'll keep the LA Colors Truly Matte for now. Um, the, uh, let's see here. So the Revlon Colorstay Full Cover and the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. These are both decent, but they're old. They're expired, so we're going to get rid of them. And then I got a couple of powder foundations. So the Super BB, I'm made a pretty good dent in this. It's really, really good. Oh, I'll have to try it with the Super BB cream, but really, really nice powder foundation. And then, of course, the L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour fresh wear, and then the Maybelline Superstay, both really, really good um, powder foundations as well. So I'll keep both of those, all three of those. And then the highlighter's not supposed to be in there, so we'll just pop that over there. Okay, I mean, yeah, I think that's a lot better. No foundation sitting outside of the box, which is good. Um, this, I'll just put in here to try. But once again, that's in the box. So here are all the foundations and concealers I am getting rid of. So I think we pretty put a pretty good dent in it. Um, so sorry, cat toy. But yeah, I think it looks better, and I think it will definitely, um, yeah, I think it will definitely help me get ready quicker, and everything that I have still is not expired. Um, it's stuff that I like, and stuff that I know I can make work, kind of like the um, Physician's Formula, or not the Physician, yeah, yeah, Physician's Formula, better believe it, I can make it work. Might not be my favorite, but I can make it work, so... But anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please go and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments. Um, how are you doing um, with decluttering stuff or are you trying to use stuff up? I would love to know down below. And of course, you are more than welcome to follow me on my social media. I have Facebook and Instagram and it is at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on the other ones. I'll be popping up there on the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.